What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're here back at the Sadler Barn Dominium and as you can see we've got steel that we've been standing up here. Uh, so the guy started yesterday doing a little bit of fabrication. Um, this is a little bit different design on this Sadler build because we actually have the, what well, I don't know, I kind of call it the, the Whataburger. I'm sure there's some kind of a, a name for it, but it's the multi-level um, you know, gables. So we have the big gable and then the other one that comes down into that uh, gable. Similar to what we did on the shop building for the Mansfield build. Uh, but anyways, I just wanted to get you guys a little bit of a glimpse of what's happening here. I did show you a little piece of the concrete as we were pouring that. So uh, we'll kind of maybe take it back through there, show you a little bit what's been happening on this project. Hope you enjoy this video. Let's get it going. As you can see, we got three of the main frames in the center up. So there's going to be lower areas down here that'll come off of here for the lower design. I'm going to show you the elevation to get an idea of what's going on. But this is actually the left side over here. The front is over there, and there's a porch back here. But um, we've been getting a little bit of a drizzle rain on and off this since this morning but really not too much. So you can see we got a little bit of water right there, but it's not been too bad. This gives you a little bit of an idea of this pad site here. Um, the shop was built uh, a little bit previously, obviously to this, and they did that first strategically so they can uh, kind of be set up over there with the RV and all that. But you can kind of see the fall off here and about, you know, how far we kind of built this up. Um, there was some trees that had to be taken out in these areas, um, but <clears throat> it wouldn't be mu much of a deal to kind of add some more filler on this side. So one of the things you'll notice on these center frames, we are using these four inch uh, I-beams and then we have the eight inches here because uh, those are not very long. They're only like 12 foot spans, something like that. And then this bay or these areas, this is what I was saying at a lower level, you're gonna have this kind of lean to tie into there um, all the way across. Uh, made the decision to go ahead and stand these frames up independently. And then we'll have each kind of L shape come up and tie on and we'll just duplicate those. And a lot of these are already cut on these end walls. We'll be using these eight inch I-beams here 
you know, your, your thickness of material really depends on how far you're spanning. So um, this is not a huge build. So you don't need excessive steel. Um, but even what we're using is very durable, very strong, way more than the strength of a two by six. So a lot of strength going into these frame. Y'all like Brennan's new gear he's wearing here? This is custom. I don't this even is, know. Is this even orderable? No, this is not orderable. This is custom made for Brandon. So if you if you want to get this, you have to put it in the notes. Brandon, just my name or something. You want a Brandon shirt. And maybe if you're lucky, you can get this. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see a little closer here. That's pretty sweet. It kind of looks like this house we're building here. It's just Yeah, this is done. exactly what I was just trying to explain. So you got this. What do you call this? I call this the Whataburger design. Yeah, I don't know what the technical <laughs> term is. Cause the it's not, what a barn though. Yeah, I don't know. It's going to be a little different though because our roof line's going to, when you're looking at it, you won't see the different roof lines here because our arch is going to have one roof line that's going to just change pitches is the difference. But it's kind of similar. Oh, I got you. So it's not tying in at a lower yeah, level. Yeah, it's going to tie yeah. in. And then you'll end up with yeah, you your, gonna... your wall panels. You'll just see where the pitch goes from an 812 to a 312. Is I was going to pull, I was going to pull up the elevation to, sh to show them at it. and I couldn't remember if it tied in at a lower point or up higher. So this right side we're looking at will tie in higher up on that eight inch I-beam. The left side actually ties in where it's cut right there, flush with the end. It's going to tie in to where that I-beam is cut off on the left side. Okay. So it's a different elevation on both sides. Oh yeah. Cause this is longer. Yeah. This side's longer than the other side. Yeah. So tell me what was your decision in going ahead and uh, moving this project forward without me being here this morning? Well, <laughs> we left that. We left because, you know, it's about a two-hour drive up. I mean, I got here and they already stood so, it up. They're like, they're like, let's just show them, well, show them we don't need him, basically. I didn't know what was going on. I hadn't heard from him. He said, forget here. the video, forget the 75,000 yeah. subscribers. Hey, they don't need to no, see hold this. On. I, you'll see because there's some drone footage. Hopefully Drew uses this, but I took some footage. I got a drone for my birthday, so... I've been playing around, but I got drone footage left in all three up at least. Okay. Well, showing. So maybe you guys can see some of it. If Drew, or maybe they've already seen it. If Drew, yeah, maybe you've seen it. If Drew's, Drew's good to me on this one. But yeah. But no commentary though. We, uh. Till now. Nah, nothing really because we were working yesterday and Josh wasn't here. What about I time lapse? I came up here yesterday, started doing this thing because it's far. You know, we're trying to keep making progress on all these jobs and Josh is doing some other stuff. So we built the, the frames yesterday, got here this morning. Hadn't heard from Josh, and we were sitting here for about 45 minutes. We showed up here like 6, 6.45 in the morning. And I'm like, well, let's just start making progress because there's a chance of rain today. And I'm like, well, let's get what we can done in the meantime. And then he rolls in here a little bit later, and we had all three stood up. This back so, here is what I was bringing this morning. Yeah. Because we needed okay. a dumpster over here. You know, it was cool because I was able to lift this stuff up without him. So it's kind of a cool thing. First time doing that without him being here. Yeah, so basically, I'm totally nervous. good with it. I was first, I was like, well, dang, I guess we ain't gonna get it on video, but he was videoing, that's all good. And uh, now we can just focus on some of the detail stuff that they had some questions on and yeah, try to get it knocked out. Hopefully by the end of today, you'll see some this guy, shape of what this thing's gonna look like. I told, I told uh, <laughs> the guys, I'm like, you guys don't even need me anymore. I'm just gonna stay home and uh, maybe do a live feed yeah. We can do a FaceTime. We'll have a camera set up, a <laughs> FaceTime that he can just watch from. <laughs> yeah. No, Maybe. it's good. They're doing a good job. And I mean, Brandon and I sit down and talked about this build a few like times. Uh, we normally do. We'll sit down and kind of go over the details. And uh, uh, we already had all the, the cuts and everything figured before we got over here. So primarily, there it is. I mean, these guys have done this enough. It's really not new news for them the sun's been coming um in and out today so you know it's just sprinkling on and off but it's still pretty dry so yeah it's not that bad it's nice dirt up here yeah it's, we're it's about so five minutes from oklahoma so we got some of that red clay up here red dirt literally probably you drive five minutes north and you're going to be at the red river so it's pretty it's pretty good pretty landscape nice. too. I, yeah. It's a whole different feel. We, we're we digging it. So, all right. So we'll keep making progress. We'll be back with you guys here in a bit.
All right, guys, I'm here in the job site trailer. And uh, like I said before, I wanted to show you guys kind of what we're dealing with here. This is your elevation. I actually showed you guys this previously on another video, but uh, <clears throat> here's the floor plan layout right there. Um, it's pretty cool. We got your front living. This is the front porch, front living, uh, master bedroom here. The uh, couple bedroom, I mean, another second bedroom here with a attached uh, bathroom, which this will also serve as a guest bathroom. And then you got your master suite is all on here with this is connected to the laundry room. Um, so these are the elevations, which you can see. This is the left side, which shows the overhang from the porch. And then this shows the back where you have, this is part of your porch area. Now, some of this is gonna be a little different because I'm gonna actually have skirting here. This will not be open through there because I'm, in, I'm gonna end up um, having a closed ceiling here. Um, because of the accessibility, this is vaulted. I won't be able to have accessibility here to get HVAC in here. So we're actually gonna be moving that. Um, this will be uh, all part of the envelope above that porch there so we'll be coming up and above over that area so all this will kind of be open there um, so that we can pass through there um, and then uh, so we'll, we'll have some storage for the HVAC that can feed all these areas that at least that's the one of the better solutions that I could come up with on that but it's a pretty cool elevation uh, you know you can kind of see some of the some of what's happening as far as the shape there so um it kind of gives you an idea what we're looking at all right so right now we're standing the verticals here on these side pieces and we'll actually be setting these other pieces on top um so it's going to be one of those things uh we'll be leveling these off and We'll end up, this frame is a little different too out here, but it's all going to tie in and match up here. So, moving this right along. All right, guys, so we're going to stay after it here. Um, I'm going to actually end up going, so we'll be showing you guys more progress on this build. I hope you've enjoyed this update. Uh, we look forward to, uh, you know, doing these updates as much as we can, but, you know, things have been pretty crazy. So I think, you know, we're just going to do the best we can, try to keep showing you guys. But uh, a little bit of water coming down now. So uh, I'll be uh, talking to you guys soon. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'm Josh Helm, wishing you all the best. Thanks for watching. Take